Hey, everybody, and welcome to another edition of What's in the Press, brought to you by me, the comic doctor out of Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. If you are new here, first of all, welcome. Uh, I'm a comic book presser, and every week I go through dozens and dozens and dozens of comic books. Uh, I clean them, I press them, and I send them off to CGC down in Florida to be graded. So every week I come on YouTube and I show you some of the books that I'm working on. It's it's fun to go through comic books, isn't it? And not only that, if you're a comic book investor and are curious what books are hot, well, this is the place to find out. I, I do believe that oftentimes I get to see trends, uh, you know, developing before they hit the mainstream. So again, if you're new here, hopefully this interests you and you'll stick around. And you know what? Hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the share button, and leave a comment below for your chance, your own chance of winning some free grading by CGC and pressing by me, the comic doctor. Okay, let's get to it. I have a lot of comics to go through today. Uh, these are brought to you by a lo by local collectors. Actually, they're both from Oshawa, Ontario, Canada. The first uh, the first collection I'm going to share with you are books that belong to Shane. So Shane starts us off with a nice copy of Batman 400 with the first appearance of the Man Bat. Oh, just in time. Well, hopefully in time for the Eternals movie, uh, Avengers 43, 43, oh, 48. Whoops. Uh, hey, I'm only human. The first appearance of the Black Knight. Avengers 71 with the first appearance of the uh, with the invaders. This one's in time for uh, the Black Widow, which is coming out this month. Uh, Red Guardian's first appearance in Avengers 40. That's 43. That's where I got it mixed up. Okay. Captain America 117 with the first appearance of the Falcon. Now Shane gives us not one, not two, but three copies of Tales to Astonish 62. This trend continues, you see, because he also submits two copies of Tales to Astonish 90. Now, these books have already been cleaned. But the bags are open because they've already been cleaned. I'm going to press them this week. Uh, Shane, again, the trend continues yet again because he, he also submits not one copy of Tales uh, 94 with the first appearance of Modoc. No, but he, he, he sends me six copies. Let's hope Mordok appears in a film soon, eh, Shane? Because that will be a payday. Thank you for those. Okay, well, here's an end there. Shane also submits a really nice copy of ASM 50, the first appearance of the Kingpin. A lower grade copy of ASM 10, and hopefully I can bump that baby up a little bit. The first appearance of the Enforcers. And Shane's last submission is Amazing Spider-Man 18. Thank you for your submissions, Shane. Okay, so that was a lot of comics, but the next batch is equally as large. And let's be honest, most of the books that I showcase here on What's in the Press, they tend to be Marvel books. Well, this is not the case with this batch. If you're a DC fanatic, well, this is going to hopefully satisfy that, those, that DC craving you might have. Uh, these books come to us from Peter out of Oshawa, Ontario, uh, right next door. And we start off with, oh, I love this cover. This is a great, great one to start off with, a Green Lantern, uh, Neil Adams special and Green Lantern 76. Love that copy. Uh, Green Lantern number 59 with the first appearance of Guy Gardner. I'll try to get rid of that, that glare. There we go. Oh, another one of my favorite comic covers. Superman 233 with Superman busting through the kryptonite chains. Love that one. Mr. Miracle number one. Nice. A Forever People number one. And these books keep coming in, you know. These, uh, these Jack Kirby books are, are, are still pretty popular, and I see them very frequently here at the shop. Justice League of America 74. Whoop, there we go. Uh, and it's a JLA number 75. Black Canary there. Uh, Detective Comics 359, of course, the first Silver Age Batgirl. And there is a Golden Age Batgirl, too, in case you didn't know that. Uh, both books get submitted quite a bit, and both have increased in value significantly. Uh, there we go. Oh, another Tech 400, this time coming from Peter. First man bat. Tech 411. First uh, Silver Age uh, Catwoman in uh, Lois Lane 70. Lois Lane 106, the, the famous... Uh, cover in which uh, storyline where Lois Lane walks in the shoes of a black woman for a day or so. 
Another Man Bat issue in Tech Comics 402. Oh, the boy's going the wrong way with the glare. I'm gonna get used to this, guys. Don't you worry. All right. Now he actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that one. Uh, Batman 2, uh, 227, famous, famous cover. The Demon of Gotham's Mansion. And I think they're all together. Yeah, they are. And Peter actually submits all the different uh, appearances of the Flash Superman races. Uh, first, he submits Flash 175. Superman 199. World's Finest uh, 199. And I went backwards here. But he also, World's Finest 198. That's pretty cool. All right. Another Green Lantern book with uh, Green Lantern 85 with the uh, one of the drug issues. And again, this one was coming off the heels of the Spider-Man drug issues. DC followed in Marvel's footsteps or, you know, Marvel's example by dealing with the uh, drug problem in America head on. Another uh, awesome book in 232 Dick Tech, first appearance of Raza Ghoul. A new, no gods number, oh, sorry, no gods, new gods number one. Batman 222 with the uh, Beatles appearing on the front uh, cover here. Here they are, Fab Four. That's pretty cool. Uh, Batman 234 featuring the first Silver Age appearance of Two Face. And uh, World's Greatest Superheroes number six. It's a nice high grade copy, I believe. This is a, well, it's a nice grade copy anyways. Uh, square bound book, great cover. And we'll finish this one off with the first appearance of Dark Side in Jimmy Olsen 134. Wow. Told you it was a big uh, DC submission. Thank you, Peter, for your subs. Uh, these books, both collections here, will be worked on this week, and they should be heading to CGC next week. Guys, thanks again for dropping by. Again, if you haven't done so, hit the subscribe button, uh, and leave a comment below for your chance to win some free grading and pressing by me, the Comic Doctor. Until next time, keep on collecting them comics, keep on reading them comics, and take care of yourselves. Bye now.